All right, this last section is what we just kind of wrapped up with, um, with the, your homework that we had recently. So um, I'm just going to kind of go over the odds. And there are some, maybe some different vocabulary, which you need to just make sure. We already have the meaning of because we just focused on the four characteristics, um, which was our, um, our end behavior, then our zeros, then our multiplicity of those zeros, and then the y-intercept. But there's some other questions that you can ask um, and to identify from, from the equation, from the function. So the first thing I hope you can see is that those double x's, I don't know why it's saved that way, so that's just a single x. And then what we're going to do here is fill in each part. So when I'm talking about the degree, we're looking at the total exponent. So remember, if you don't see one, that's an exponent of 1. So this would be a degree of 3. And then the leading one is actually positive. So this is actually going to be an odd positive. And whenever it's odd positive, it is down up. So when they want the end behavior, they want you to actually be able to complete the statement here. So as x approaches a negative infinity, because that's over here, it's pointing down, your function approaches a negative infinity right here. Right, right? And then as x approaches positive infinity, we look at this area that's moving up, that's pointing up, the function approaches a positive infinity. So they just want you to give the end behavior, and then they want you to give your x-intercepts with the multiplicity. Now, your x-intercepts are your factors here, your parentheses here. So if I see x minus 2, that means my x-intercept is x equals positive 2. And then at that factor, at that grouping, the multiplicity is 1, which is odd, okay? which means it's crosses. So when they ask for the multiplicity, um, they want the exponent, but they also want the description of what's happening at that point. Okay. So for this next one, I have x plus 5. So x, um, and I probably didn't state this, but really um, what you're doing is you're taking that factor and making it equal to 0, and you're solving for x. Okay. I just did that mentally, and I know some of you can do the same. So x here equals a negative 5. Again, the exponent at that factor is 1, so your multiplicity is 1, so it crosses here as well. And then for the last factor, x minus 1, that means the factor or the x-intercept for the 0 is x equals 1. Again, that multiplicity is 1 which means it crosses. Okay, and so now to find the y-intercepts, we're going to plug in 0 for x and solve for y here. So y equals 0 minus 2 parentheses and then 0 plus 5, close that parentheses, and 0 minus 1, close that parentheses. So this gets simplified to negative 2 times 5, which is a negative 10, times a negative 1, which is a positive 10. So the y-intercept is the order pair 0, 10. Right. Now, how many distinct x-intercepts? That means how many x-intercepts actually touch um, the x-axis? Well, the distinct ones are basically what we have here. So we have 1, two, three, okay. Um, so we had three x-intercepts. How many roots? We also had three roots, okay. Um, I think they didn't even ask real roots, so, um, or real solutions. Let me see if we have any, how many zeros, how many distincts. I don't think there's anything that as real versus complex. Yeah, so now we're just sketching. So we're here. Yeah, so we're just filling in the parts here. And then on this, we're taking those parts 
to fill in to sketch. So you'd want to go through those same four steps that we did on the um, worksheet or basically answer the questions that were on uh, 19 and 20 to label our X and Y intercepts. So I first look at my, my um, degree and my end behavior for this problem and my leading coefficient. We have one, two, a degree of three. And the leading coefficient is actually positive here. Okay. And so the end behavior would be down, up. So it's going to start down somewhere here and finish up somewhere here. And we'll fix that. Then I'm going to go to my zeros. My zeros are x equals 1. I'm going to write them down here. x equals 1 x equals negative 3, and x equals 4. So I'm going to put a point at 1, at a negative 3, and at, at 4. But I also need to know the multiplicity of those points. Since they're both odd, they're going to cross here. And I said both. They're all odd, sorry. So we know it's crossed. This is very similar to our 19 that I just did on the other page. Are our x values the same? Let me, let me double check. No, they're a little off, but same thing, same process. All right, and then we need to know the y-intercept. So we have to plug in 0 and solve for y for this. So I'm going to just do it down here. y equals 0 minus 1, 0 plus 3. And 0 minus 4, when I simplify, I get negative 1 times 3, which is a negative 3, times a negative 4, which is a positive 12. So my y-intercept is 0, 12. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the 12 here, put a point there. All right, so remember, it's crossing, it's starting um, down, and it's finishing up. All right, so what's going to ha need to happen here, and I'm going to fix this real quick, is obviously we're going to start down. We're going to cross at this negative 3, go up, sorry, then cross at that y-intercept at 12. Then we need to cross at that 1 then to turn and cross at that 4. And then we're sketching a graph. Okay? Now, I do want to talk about... I don't know why this is 43. Did I number it wrong, too? Did I miss something? Yep, I did. I'm sorry about that. That should have been 23, right? Yeah. Okay. So this should be 23 and then 24. I don't know how that happened. Okay, so... Let's talk about 23 real quick, okay? Because if I, I want you to pay attention when this happens. When we have minus x in the parentheses, when you have the constant first and then the variable, the minute that happens, that's going to make the, neg the x negative. So this is making this little section here negative. And if I have a negative times a positive, positive x, positive x, positive x, it's still going to end up with a, your leading coefficient is going to end up being negative here, okay? Now, your degree, your degree is, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, a degree of 4, so we have, <coughs> excuse me, an even negative, and whenever you have an even, an even negative, it's down, down. So we're looking at some type of down, down here. So now we're still going to go to our zeros. So I'm going to do each order, each um, factor here. So we have one at x equals negative 4. Then we have one at x equals negative 2. But then for this grouping, because we have 2 minus x, if that equals 0, you would have a negative x equal negative 2, but really x equals positive 2. Okay, and then for the last one, we have x equals 1. 
So I'm going to plot those points. So negative 4, negative 4, negative 2, 1, and positive 2. And then we need to find the y-intercept. So the y-intercept requires us to do plug in 0 for x. So 0 plus 4, 0 plus 2, 2 minus 0, 0 minus 1. So when I simplify that, we have 2 times uh, 4, then times 2, then times 2 again, times a negative 1. All right, so 2 and 4 is 8, 8 and 2 is 16, 16 and 2 is 32. So this comes out to be a negative 32, 32 times a negative 1. So we're just going to go ahead and write a negative 32 here, put a point to represent that y-intercept. All right, so um, I think since we have a degree of 4, we're looking at 4 or 3 terms, I believe. So, and all of these terms are crosses, if I'm correct. Yeah, they're all crosses. So, so all I'm going to do is kind of move this over. This is going to start here. Cross, turn, cross, turn here. And then it needs to cross here, turn, and then end here. Something like that, end going down. Which is gives me three turns, which is one less than our degree. Okay, so just be mindful whenever it's minus an x, because that's really going to be a negative um, value of x. Um, and then anytime you multiply a negative times a positive, it's going to be a negative. So um, on 24, you do need to pay attention to your multiplicity. Okay, so one of your factors is a negative 5x squared equal to 0, well, that's still just going to be x equals 0, okay? But that has a multiplicity of 2, so that means that's a bounce, okay? And then if you look at the next one, this is, oops, sorry. This one here, the x is going to equal negative 3, and again, has a multiplicity of 2, so it has a bounce. So make sure you have two bounces here. And then we have a negative lean, leading coefficient that's negative, and we have a degree that's 4. So we have, again, an even negative, which means we have a down-down, okay? So try to finish this. Like I said, I'm going to let this be extra credit. Because it's extra credit, it's going to close, and it has to be submitted before the time, uh, or by time, and um, um, and then once that time is up, I'll probably post the key for you to check. Um, test will be Thursday, I believe, and I am aware some of you are going to be testing, so you'll just make it up on Friday in class. All right, guys, thanks for using this to help you get through your reviewing, preparing for your tests.